We begin with breaking news. A suspect who fatally shot a young mother before setting her body and car on fire pleaded guilty in court this morning. That suspect pleaded guilty to manslaughter. The crime happened back in 2015. Duke Carter is live from the criminal courthouse with more details on the case. Duke. Good afternoon, Sheba. Yes, 33-year-old Theon Sampson pleaded guilty to a lesser charge. As you mentioned, he was charged with second-degree murder, but he pled guilty to manslaughter, guilty of second-degree kidnapping, obstruction of justice, and solicitation for murder in connection with the death of 31-year-old Lindsay Nichols. Now, Sampson pretty much avoided a scheduled September 10th trial for second-degree murder, which might have gotten him a lifetime prison sentence. And, of course, this is, again, in connection with the death of Lindsay Nichols. Now, criminal district judge Robin Pittman sentenced Sampson to the maximum of 40 years in state prison without probation, parole, or a suspension of that sentence. Sampson was also sentenced to 20 years with the Department of Corrections for the solicitation of, of murder for Lindsay Nichols. Now, again, this goes back to the summer of 2015. Sampson at that time was charged with second degree murder in connection with the death of 31 year old Lindsay Nichols. Her body was found inside the trunk of a car that was set on fire in New Orleans East back in June of 2015. And the coroner said Nichols died of multiple gunshot wounds. Now, the district attorney, Canizero, Leon Canizero, has said in a statement, part, quote, while this guilty plea cannot bring this young woman back to her loved ones, it does at least spare them the agony of hearing her anguished final moments recounted at trial. Now, we did try to reach out to Nichols' family. They were here in court this morning. They declined to talk to us because they said that there is another person involved with this incident and the case is not yet fully closed. However, though, they do plan to read impact statements on Monday at 9 o'clock. That's the story for now. Reporting live here in front of Orleans Parish Criminal Courthouse, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News. Thank you very much, Duke. I'm sure this was a difficult day for her family, but hopefully this gets them one step closer to some closure.